Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, collectivekicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a look at the Ultra Boost in the V3.0 uh, colorway of the uh, all white or the pure white or the triple whites or the Arctic white or whatever you want to call these things. The upper is actually a mix of white and gray, as you can see in the Prime Knit upper. And I really like what Adidas did with this new uh, 2017 or version three of the Ultra Boost. This upper print or the material and the the pattern shape is really cool uh, i think that this is an, a nice win also i, I kind of curious to see how these look uncaged so i might uncage these ones and then just do like the regular yeezy laces i do think that the cages are pretty cool because they they did this effect where they're kind of like frosted and i, and I like that so i get asked sometimes what is the difference between the version one the version two and the version three of the ultra boost so i thought i'd show you guys in this video and this is the very first ultra boost that ended up coming out and I had quite a few of these back in the day. You can see the nibs on the bottom are completely different. You see they're rounded. Now, I guess for serious runners, this wasn't like nice because these would just run really, really thin. So they ended up upgrading in the version two and then changed over to this flat continental rubber. And they added the continental on the end there as well. So they kind of made it a bit more official and more for runners, but these have been like adopted more for lifestyle people like myself. So I don't know, I kind of like th this. It would be cool if they came back to this one. So in the new V3, let's take a look and see how they look. Comparison, it is exactly the same as the V2. So the, the bottoms are the same, V2 and V3. V1, they made the big, huge difference. The shape of the Ultra Boost is exactly the same on all three, as you can see as well. So the only other major difference between these, the, the Prime Knit upper material is completely different. And I think that that is the major difference is because this pattern, was this on the original ones it looks kind of like a heart across the toe box the new ones for the v2s last year you could see it kind of had the gradient so these ones are kind of known as the gradients how it goes from dark black and then different and then kind of a charcoal gray so those ones were the the v2s but the v3s have this really interesting look to them kind of obscure pattern so that's the major differences between the, the, the different models is just that, that prime knit upper material pattern. So the cages is also something different. You could see the original cages and then the V2s and then the threes and the threes have that, that frosted look versus the other ones. The, the Adidas logo on the tongue looks the same on all three. The back section looks the same on all three, but the only other difference that I see is the Ultra Boost logo. So the first one, this one was black, it says Ultra, and then Boost was, was gold or silver, and I don't know if they were all silver or not, but that is different. Then the twos had the silver and the gold. And I'm not sure, again, if these are consistent across the board. For all the pairs that I have, uh, this is the way it was. And these ones, the threes are all silver, and I like the all silver uh, a little bit better. I think it's just cleaner the way that they lined those up. But that's Primarily the differences between the three. What do you guys like or which has been your favorite so far? Anyways, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the new Ultra Boost and do you guys like the new kind of pattern that they put on the V3s? Have you guys also not tried the Ultra Boost yet? Leave a comment if you have not and reasons maybe why. And um, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. I'll leave you guys with that. Hopefully you guys again enjoyed and thank you again for watching. Peace guys.